Welcome to the stream, Sabike Guy, where today we're checking out Fuji's take on a adventure gravel bike. A bike that's set up to be able to do a ride like the Dirty Kanza, or go out on a small bikepacking adventure with your friends. This thing is a pretty cool aluminum rig. So in this video, we're going to go into the features and designs of this Fuji Jari 1.3, talk about the frame, the specs on it, as well as find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, I suggest you stick around and let's check out this bike together. The Fuji Jari series is Fuji's take on an adventure ready gravel bike. So this gravel bike has a neutral position, so it would be fine to be able to do a performance type event, some light bike packing or touring, if that's what you're into. And this particular rig, the Fuji 1.3, this indicates the frame and the parts quality. So here we're rocking Fuji's A6 super butted aluminum, which essentially means that this is a shaped and butted aluminum frame. It runs a tapered steer tube down to this carbon fiber fork, which of course runs through axle. It's also got integrated fender mounts and triplicate mounts to be able to run a bag or bottle on the fork. And then the frame is all internal cable routing with everything running through nice and smooth with triplicate mounts on the down tube, double water bottle mounts on the seat tube, and just below where the bottom bracket is, is also another mount for a water bottle. And this particular rig has a T47 threaded bottom bracket rocking a BB386 crank set. So that's nice to see that's all threaded. And then it has a drop chain stay. So essentially what that design means is the chain stay drops down before going to the back and that allows for some absolutely massive tire clearance. So the neat thing with these jarries are these are going to be able to rock either a 700c wheel like we have on here, which in that 700c wheel size you can put 45 millimeter tires on it, or if you went down to 650b you could do up to 47. And that high clearance chain stay then goes to this through axle 12 by 142 out back. And I love that it still has racks and fender mounts, plus this little detachable fender mount up top to make sure it doesn't rattle around. Now the frame set is also going to be disc specific, meaning you've got flat mount disc brakes on the front and the rear. And my favorite feature, if I could think of any, is actually right here. So Fuji knows if you're going on an adventure, you might need to shoulder your bike. And basically what they got here is a little rubber pad, as well as that shape, that gusset on the frame, to make this more comfortable when you're carrying this on your shoulder, which personally is pretty smart thinking on Fuji's part. Going into the cockpit on this Fuji Jari is gonna be all oval components. And you can see here we're set up with a obvious flare on this oval gravel handlebar. So if we take a look down, you can see the bars kind of tilt in and then the drop flares out. And this allows while you're down in the drops that your arm isn't gonna come in contact with the shape of the bar. And that should make it much more comfortable on a long ride. And then you've got a relatively roomy reach out to the shifters and an oval stem to connect the handlebar to the steer tube. And then moving out back, it's a 27.2 aluminum oval seat post. And that would be a place where if I were picking up one of these, I might consider adding a carbon seat post to the back because that'll help with some compliance in the rear end of this rig. Drivetrain wise, the 1.3 is a one by drivetrain. So that means we're rocking a single ring up front, a 40 tooth in fact, and then out back, it has the SRAM Apex one by system. So this Apex one by system runs an 11 to 42 tooth gear range in the back, operating to that 40 tooth up front. So you get less than a one to one ratio, which is good for climbing. But then you have all that range in the back with this one by crank set operating with a clutch mechanism to help keep things nice and quiet. And shifting that one by system is the SRAM Apex shifters. So these are a double tap shifter, which is a pretty neat way to shift. So if you click once, that goes to harder gear. Click twice, and that goes to an easier gear. So click, and up and down you go, all in one paddle. And it's neat because you're able to do that up from the hoods or down in the drops, and you're able to bring that paddle back as you need. Now these brake levers are mechanical, but they're operating a real neat mechanical brake system from TRP. And these spires are a two piston mechanical brake. One of the only ones out there of this kind gives nearly hydraulic like brake pressure. Finally, moving into the tires that connect this bike with the road, we'll start by checking out the Radler tires from WTB. These are a tubeless ready tire. They do come factory with tubes, but you can set them up tubeless. 700 by 40 millimeter wide, and you can tell they've got lots of aggressive grip to them. 
spacing on the top is tight enough that if you are on some packed dirt or even some pavement it will roll pretty well but as you go out to the shoulder of the tire lots of grip on looser conditions and then the wheels are WTB as well with the STI 23 rims tubeless ready of course eyelided which means that they're going to be considerably more durable than a traditional rim touch heavier when you do it that way but then they lace up J-bend spokes to these through axle hubs on the front as well as the rear. The Fuji Jari 1.3 comes in and weighs 23.36 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the Fuji Jari 1.3. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts about this bike down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and definitely browse the channel to check out more bike videos like this to see as well.